what should i say there's another combustion in the sky it's the combustion of jupiter from what are the dates 4th of may <laughs> to 2nd of june depending on which ayanamsha you take and depending on which degrees of combustion you take all right so essentially for this entire month there is the combustion of jupiter so what is the combustion of jupiter doing in our life See, you have to understand what combustion is. Recently, I made a video on uh, combustion of Venus. In that, I said combustion means there is some sacrifice that is required. Combustion means like the life of Lord Ram. So Lord Ram, if you see his life, it's like a sequence of disasters, one after the other. <clears throat> Much of which uh, is uh, beyond his control. Of course, uh, he's God himself. Everything is under control, but... As a part of Leela, he does this so that uh, he can set an example for humanity in order to how to deal with things that are beyond your control, okay? So uh, now what happens is Jupiter is undergoing this uh, combustion. So now what uh, when there is combustion, you are actually impelled to look beyond your ideals. You are impelled to look beyond your thought process. Why do I say ideals and thought process? Because... We are not dealing with Venus. We are dealing with Jupiter, which is the significator of ideals, thought processes, and uh, our belief systems. That is why uh, some people say atheism is ruled by Rahu. Actually, any form of belief, either it's presence in the presence of God or in the absence of God, is under Jupiter. All right, so it's not Rahu. Rahu is Rahu is like there's nothing. That's Rahu. <laughs> okay, so. When Jupiter is combust, what happens is now you know he has just entered Taurus. So essentially when Jupiter has entered Taurus, you might be feeling that there is some consolidation that is required. I'm using this word multiple times. Uh, some people have interpreted it as uh, consolidation in stock market or election votes. <laughs> Please don't interpret it that way i'm not talking of elections i'm not talking of stock market or gold prices or anything like that all right that's a separate discussion and that could be there but when i say consolidation i mean consolidation of your own resources okay your my and everybody's resources so when jupiter enters taurus what happens is uh you will you will suddenly start feeling the need of security and i've been saying this all the time since i've been discussing about taurus so uh, please write down in the comments if you feel that you know you need stability security and all this you know suddenly you will feel that okay maybe i have enough in life or maybe i don't have enough in life but nonetheless whatever i have with that i need to be satisfied and i need to see you know how i can gather things and keep them together so now um Taurus is not a risk ever sign but it is a more uh, security prone sign okay so now you will see people will take a lot of calculated risks. They will not take risks which are uh, which are beyond their reach. Okay, so people will take such risks only which uh, they will be able to handle or they think they can handle. But now, when there is combustion, what happens is this risk-taking ability or rather the counter, which is, you know, this uh, stability-prone uh, attitude that you are having, this will come at a cost which means now the other end may happen which means you may be tempted to take a lot of risks but because of the combustion and because of jupiter being in taurus you will realize no i have this risk taking ability in me or the desire in me but now i should look for stability but it will not come for free it will so whenever combustion is involved it's not free okay you have to use your card, <laughs> credit, debit, whatever, some card, all right? So understand that whenever it's compassion, it's not going to come for free. So you have to pay the price like Lord Ram and his life, you know, he had to pay the price always, okay? Combustion means price tag is always attached. So whichever planet is combust, you will always have to pay some price related to that planet and the houses that this planet rules. Period. There's no discussion beyond this. <laughs> Why? Because when a planet is combust, the lordships go for a toss. They, they, they need, they require some sacrifice. 
So now, for example, if Jupiter is your uh, tenth lord, lord, let's take an example. He's your tenth lord. So then, what happens is you will have to do some sacrifice in relation to your career, but that sacrifice could be of a Taurus nature. For example, Jupiter is your tenth lord then you may be tempted so now suppose you are already there in a company now you may be tempted to look for a different job you know which pays you a certain amount of money okay a better better pay or a better promotion okay but um, you will ask yourself do i really deserve this or do i really need this no or i'm just or am i just you know going around you know like every two years i'm changing company you know at, at least in it and in india it happens you know <clears throat> most of the friends and colleagues that i have or that i had before like every two years you know you start with three lakhs then after two years four four and a half then you know six lakhs then ten lakhs so like this you keep shifting and you keep changing and by the time you are 35 you realize you have a very big package but you don't have any knowledge okay you don't have any experience you just have uh, you just have the experience of changing companies <laughs> so therefore <clears throat> You need to understand that this will not work like this, okay? So, if Jupiter is ruling a prominent Kendra house for you, then you must understand that you should take risks, you should go to the next level, but that should that should come only as a byproduct of your experience, which means you should not accept something without have done without doing the necessary tapasya that is required without having the necessary penance because combustion means there is burning what is burning you know gold have you seen what happens when gold burns so you put some normal thing you know in, into fire what happens it's gone okay but when you put gold into the fire what happens it shines it becomes more brilliant it becomes more you know, effulgent okay it becomes more goldly <laughs> right so Therefore, you, you, you have to understand that when there is a combustion, there you will be put into this furnace. And it's like you are burning. Okay, You are burning, burning, burning. And then when you are burning, what happens? One of the two will happen. Either you will perish or you will become a better person. Which means, so suppose Jupiter is your 10th lord and you are now experiencing burning. So either you could leave this job and start something else. Or you'd be like, okay, no, 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 this, this job is good, but I need to stabilize more, I need to learn more, and I need to do more, maybe I need some certifications, maybe I need to uh, get a mentor, I need to go to some events, I need to learn more, I need to dedicate myself more, okay, so when you do, when you do all this, then you'll realize, okay, it was actually not my quest for uh, knowledge, knowledge, it was just a quest for money, so it's very peculiar that Taurus is a sign of money, but now you may introspect and you may counter question yourself in regards to some opportunities that you may get for better money. Okay, now all this will only be applicable if Jupiter is your 10th Lord, but he may not be your 10th Lord. He may be Lord of your 7th house. Okay, so something related to marriage, you know, something, uh, certain things you have to compromise, you have to let go, you have to understand that for your marriage to work, you have to... Mm, you have to understand that uh, you have to either start doing something or let go of something. If you don't do this, then uh, you will realize that your marriage is not working and maybe it will not work. Now, here's the catch. Ultimately, the dashas will decide. But, 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 but if your dashas are good for marriage, your married life will be intact. There's no issue with your marriage, okay? But suppose Jupiter is your seventh lord, which means you are a Mercurian Lagna, okay? Which means you are a... Uh, Gemini or a Virgo Lagna. So then Jupiter is the Lord of your seventh house. So then what happens is you will see, you will, you will realize that even though your marriage is intact, even though your dashas are good, provided your dashas are good, and if they are good, but still because your seventh lord is undergoing combustion, you will feel that if you don't do the necessary sacrifices, you will you will feel like, oh. I am that we we are that perfect couple, you know, who are like you know the it's like the dream couple, the glam couple, you know, in social media, everything is fine, everything is good, everything is great, but you know, we are unhappy, okay, in the marriage. So therefore, you you have to understand that, irrespective of your dashas, you will feel this. 
of course the dashas will tell you externally if certain things will happen so for example if you are a gemini or virgo lagna and you are running the dasha of the sixth house okay then then the problem is you know this combustion uh, when it occurs you know which means if you do not sacrifice your marriage can completely break off because you are running the dasha of the sixth house okay but if you are running dasha of the second seventh or eleventh your marriage will not break but you will feel that uh, despondency and that unhappiness within so therefore when this happens you have to understand that this is not this is not the, the, this will not necessarily lead to drastic events if your dashas are not agreeing to it drastic events will only occur if your dashas are agreeing okay otherwise not so for example if you are running dasha of the 8th house or 12th house then there could be defamation or anything like that you know or there could be some disease you know and adding to that if guru is also your you know 8th lord or 12th lord so you will be forced to leave up some you know some addiction you know like you know whatever it could be like eating meat or you know eating sugar or watching adult material in the internet or smoking drinking taking drugs you know so therefore please do not see this transit uh, of jupiter's combustion in isolation please see it with the dashas so the dashas will finally decide what will happen but the combustion will always take place okay so therefore please understand so check your ascendant and check the houses that guru lords and depending on that you need to realize that there is some sacrifice you have to do and this sacrifice because it is jupiter it will be more of a jupiterian nature which means you know it it will be something related to your beliefs your ideals you know maybe you are thinking in a wrong direction maybe you are thinking in a different way which you need to correct okay so therefore please analyze this conjunction holistically with your chart and your dashas and other transits also okay not just this transit this is another mistake i see people doing over and over again they will take one transit in isolation so first remember first your chart your overall chart the promise of the chart that that supersedes everything okay nothing can change that then second is your dashas okay so this is number 2 and then number 3 is that particular transit which you are focusing on and number 4 is other transits but i see people do only one they will just see oh jupiter's transiting my seventh house you know what maybe like you know maybe like you know maybe like maybe you know like i may get married but is your dasha saying you will get married no because i i keep getting all these comments oh jupiter is transiting my seventh house you know last year you said you you know like whatever for this ascendant you'll get married you know but i'm not married so what should i do why am i not married so you have to understand what i said in i i say in every transit video that the events that will happen will be dependent on your dashas and not the transits but depending on your dashas if you have a proper transit that can enhance it and that will indicate okay which which area will be uh, flourishing within the dasha so for example if your uh, sun is in the 10th house you are in sun antar dasha now but jupiter is your 7th uh, lord okay so then what can happen is you may because dasha is the deciding factor so something to do with profession will happen but because guru is your 7th lord so it can happen that you are making some uh, you need to rewire your thought process when it comes to dealing with other people your business partners now the 7th house will not be marriage okay because your dasha is of the 10th house so do not think this 7th lord will give you a uh, marriage related sacrifices absolutely not it can of course if the 7th lord's mahadasha is going on that's a different situation 7th lord mahadasha 10th house or uh, 10th lord's antar dasha and then you you might have to see you know now it could be you know either 7th or 10th or it could be both ways okay but always remember chart dashas transit and also other transits okay thank you so much for your patience please let me know down in the comments what sacrifices are you planning to make write down what is your ascendant and which house is jupiter lords and what sacrifices are you planning to do and don't forget to write which dasha you are running all right Thank you for your patience. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up and share it with people who may need it. And also subscribe to the channel if you are new. And for consultations, you will find my website down in the description section. Please take care. Jai Shri Ram. Jai Guru Maharaj.